get this one. <laughs> yeah, and then they have to go forward and again and again. Yeah. But only an ultimate man, only in Smash esports. I mean, if you thought you were done watching Richter gameplay, <laughs> you got Nitro back. Oh, uh, you got another. Yeah, they got a little rebuttal now. He said, uh, "T3 Dome, I see you putting in the work." But Nitro says, "I'm the OG. I'm the you know." I would hesitate to call him a murderer at the moment, yeah, but I'm but the killer face here on the uh, Richter scale. Oh, man. <laughs> oh, my God. Feel the earthquake. That, that was pretty good. But wait, since I think Mr. Conkron's fighting the Isabel, will we see a Richter duel? Um, I don't know. Let's, we should pull a bracket at some point. Uh, well, we might. Yeah, yeah we'll, we'll go top, top 16 too, but it looks like yeah, Nitro Solox got that Daisy. Uh -huh. So, and you know, Nitro's really familiar with this matchup, just given, you know, like There's a lot Raza, of Raza stomping grounds for sure. Um, and Solex, you know, solid, solid, uh, Paisy, you know, Daisy player. Paisy, Daisy, yeah. yeah. Paisy, Daisy. They, they work out the same way, but it's just the fact that he's able to get Pokemon Saiyan 2, which is already really good for Richter, and he's able to wall him out. He kind of struggles in this aspect because Daisy, if he gets a down fill, yeah. that's 46%. Yeah, it's, uh, the, the damage train, and all of a sudden you're at 55. <laughs> yeah, basically, that's how it works, but you can't grab it to ledge for too long, and he expected that, getting the pivot grab as well. He's setting up these ledge traps as boys. He look. Yeah, he's able to battle. Oh, he got. He was out of it, and he jumped right into the holy fire. Talk about out of the frying pan and yeah. into the fire. Yeah. Put himself I, right in. Unfortunately. I mean, after the fry, you gotta go through the chop top with that axe. You gotta get whipped up. But here we go. Gets the tilt. Oh, I was about to say that <laughs> the nitro I'm not taking any damage. Oh god. <laughs> But it's bomb. Oh, oh, it hit him. He actually oh. air dodged out of it. Great job by Nitro. Yeah, I could even see in the explosion. Is I, I, was, I was sure that one hit, but got good air dodge getting out of it. And Nitro in firm command doing a billion damage and here it comes. only taking 10. Yeah, and here's the wall. Great job. He can't neutral. Get up. Great job of him getting up just in time to avoid the legend mobility. And he just. Is that a stitch? No, it's not a stitch face. I thought that was a stitch face. 139%. Not looking too good. Great carry. He's trying to get a down to He knows he just needs something to get started. Right. But Nitro is a player. He's not a Richter player. He's not the best for nothing. He's not allowing you to get back on this stage. And hits him with the up tilt. No sweet spot, though. He's going to stay alive. And actually, Solix has done a really good job getting and battling Ooh. off the ledge. It's just... He's not capitalized on it, and you give a player like Nitro enough chances, he's going to shut the door and already a full stock ahead pretty much. And, and that downer can be a really difficult thing to deal with because it bounces directly off the shield. Right. So it can be really difficult for Salt X, and here we go. Look at these crosses, 35. He's already got the percent advantage and the stock advantage. The sweet spot hits as well. Soul X is struggling right now. And the Epto barely misses because he was landing on the ground. Yeah, if you're at home and wanting a textbook on zoner play, you Nitro, got it back yeah. to back. <laughs> T3 dumb followed immediately by Nitro. If you're a screen monster and you don't like zoner play, well, that's a shame on you. <laughs> yeah, but I mean, you get to watch it anyways. That's yeah. what you get to do, especially in SoCal here. Yeah, time to learn. <laughs> anyway. They're the best as they can. But right now, Nitro is just controlling this match so well, using up here to finally get away. But back again, Soul X put himself in the corner. Right. And he's, you know, he's uh, put on 70 damage, so he's showing that he's able to open up just a little bit. But, but the that's the hard part. He's, he's gets, he tries to get in, and then the next option he's been picking has been very telegraphed and just very easy for Nitro to rebut every single time. And he finally gets away trying to use that dashboard and the shield, but these f tilts are coming out left and right. It's a wall of whips, unable to do anything. This is looking like a new Castlevania game. And he's already moving on. He's getting dangerously close to moving on to the next level for free. It's looking like it's easy level one. You got to get some uh, stronger monsters or something. Solox has got to dig deep, find something. Uh -oh. Or maybe just hold on to it for his counter pick. Oh, good pressure. Finally, it might be the first time that Nitro's no, really off stage. Great, <laughs> it was a great direction of air to get him out, and he actually was able to dodge the turn up. But here comes the fire. Barely misses out, but he forces it. He knew he was going to tech in place. The axe comes in and barely skims away from Daisy's head, so he's going to be fine. Oh, Lord. Yeah, there's the more zoning play. Good retreating back air. Just when you think they have him in his grasp, uh, Solox is getting a whole lot of nothing. Ooh, Good coverage, great though. Chase, though. He's going to be okay. He's going to tether on, right onto it. But Solox just hits him with the crown. A little frustration coming in right now, but Nitro is on point with these reads. And he's got a whole two stocks to work with. with you know, uh, Solex being oh, in danger. It. Didn't get the roll. Yeah, he's, but he's going to pick up the damage here. It's yeah. No harm, no foul. 53%, but... But eventually that starts to matter. Like, you start missing your uh, your new, your your pickups in your advantage situations. That's one more read that you're going to have to get on a player yeah, matchup caliber. Problem, the problem is he's still got that combo go, but is it too little too late yeah. at this point? It seems, sure seems like it, because Nitro is continuously walling him out with these aerials. They need to get anywhere. Here comes the back throw. Hits him with that... Uh, 
Yeah, yeah, as I said, he's doing a pretty good job navigating out of the lead trap situation. And until that time, ahead. until he gets hit by that one. And he's just going to yeet him <laughs> off the stage into the axe. Not going to hit it. He went for the disrespect nitro. He is actually living. alive? Both of them are living. Oh, but it shouldn't be for long. He went for the... You saw that. He shouldn't have gone for that there. And a light lingering hit there on the, the peach bump. Uh, so here comes the axe of destiny, but the up air is threatening to kill Daisy at any moment's notice. 199%. I've never seen anyone live this far, especially against a Richter. But I think Nitro at this point is just playing with his food. Yeah. Either that or Solux is just trying to get, you know, get a little bit of information. Oh no. Um, oh what? I didn't Was that next level mind games? Did he like just bait that up the <laughs> special? Or is oh. it that nitro plate? Here, like here comes the dot face. Here comes the dot face. Maybe we get a little bit of damage up, oh, but here comes the axe. Oh my god, that was so <laughs> impeccable <close>. space scene. <laughs> yeah, he was able to barely get away, but Nitro could care less. 128%. Anything at this point will kill. An F tilt will kill. A back air. Nitro, please. Just end him. He's at his misery. Put At some point, Solox is going to be over 300, <laughs> and oh, he's going <laughs> to die right there. I was about to make the joke. If he gets over 300, he's stalling. DQ. <laughs> <laughs> on top of that, but great job by yeah. Nitro. Completely shutting down Solox. Yeah, and control. It's Some of those matches it ends up being tough if you're, you know, Especially when you're behind, your opponent's just in the driver's seat, just trying to find an opening is so difficult. I mean, that's Nitro. He pops yeah. Nitro. That's all he does. Uh, so Lex, he did, as, as I was saying, like when he was on the ledge, he did a good job battling back. He's just got to take a second, gather himself, uh -oh. and really play that rocket scissors and win some I don't matches. Like the stage choice. Uh, questionable, but maybe maybe Solex knows something maybe that we Solex, don't. Yeah, maybe he's got something. But from the previous game we saw, I don't agree. Yeah. Let's see if it plays out. You know, sometimes players are just familiar with their stages. They got to throw what you know. Yep. And sometimes you're just picking a really good Richter stage. I don't know. <laughs> at this point, Solux needs to win this in order to stay into winner's quarters and moving on to winner's semis. But right, right now, he's immediately playing on the defensive. And they're trying to open up with a down tilt. Ari did more damage than the first stock last time because yeah. he only did 10% before. <laughs> I mean, he's got some down. This is small improvements that you need. But this sliding F tilt, I like that I'm seeing from Nitro. But immediate up, he had a chill to get him out of disadvantage. And he's going to get out. He got out of it, but the down tilt, you know, the down air, downward air dodge left him up oh, before the uh, down tilt. And uh, Richter's down tilt is surprisingly good. Mm -hmm. Like, it demands so much space and the two marks of it, so you can actually force out an opponent to make a bad decision. Right. Very reminiscent of, like, the old school snake uh, Dacus. Yeah. Oh, my God. Don't even talk about that. Yeah. That was ridiculous. The Falco Dacus, remember? Yeah, our, oh, the Gatling God. combo, man. Just you dash attack their shield, and you up smash away like a champion. And then you right. get the shake right. Oh my god, bro. What a all, fun game. All right, he's doing it. Solex already in an advantage state for the first time in the entire set. Mm -hmm, but as soon as you say that, he's already off. And yeah. He's disadvantaged. Nitro setting up camp using these aerials to wall him out. These acts coming out from nowhere. They're not finding their mark, but these aerials show up. And speaking of that, needs to find it, but Solex on him to find him a great float cancel. Yeah, good option coverage. He's covering it. Oh, he he had the right idea. He was trying to cover that ledge grab. And oh, no, I thought the forward smash was coming out. Yeah, that was close. Yeah, you can't neutral get up, up against that holy fire. Holy water, I yeah. should say, not holy fire. And if you do, you got to time it, like, absolutely perfectly. <laughs> and usually, like, just the threat of the forward smash on the ledge is what forces people up and from that situation. Otherwise, you just wait, you know. And oh, you there you go. That. See, if you perfectly space it like that, yeah. the great roll away, but the Nair finally catches it out. Is that going to be enough? It is Good a turn great up. turn up. And for the first time <laughs> in the set, Solex lurking with a stock lead. Let's see if he can hold on, put on some extra credit. Big roll, catches Nitro sleeping just a little bit. And you can see Solux kind of coming into his own in this matchup, a lot more parries. Uh, as soon as I say that yeah. though, Nitro says, come into your own, let me show you uh, who's boss right now. Gets a down air right into the uh, killer, you know, the finisher. The legendary competition yeah. curse, as they like to call it. But he needs to find his way in. Solux is actually doing a much better job right. getting in. He's actually interrupting the down air. Here we go, 76% already. Yeah, good, good Paisy combos, putting the work in. Oh, and that turn up confirm into that dash attack. The down air, though, is going to uh, do the crack. I thought we were going to get the double dip. <laughs> he was right in position for it. I thought we were double dipping. Yeah, he is unable to get the. He's unable to get that confirmed, but he knows that he has to respect Daisy's wall. So he's on purpose and putting himself in the corner and chasing it down. And here comes the dot eyes. Yeah, the lecture pop on this turn up. Let's see if he's able to make it happen. Oh, there we go. Doesn't pick it up again, but he goes in for the dash attack. Good oh, coverage. God. I think he thought he had him, but recovery. Not going to be enough to kill. Uh -huh. And but great air dodge up and Archie can get this tether. He's going to stick around for a little bit and see what Nitro likes to do. But 
Nitro. Yeah, I remember when they said that uh, ah. the, the Belmont side bad recovery. Nitro yeah. making it look easy until he gets uh, back here for his trouble. Oh, but the out smash, not the tipper, so he's going to live just right now. But great jump away from the ledge to get away. But the back air is going to demand some space. But, oh my god, Nitro is determined to end the stock just so that Souls can't get this lead anymore. Yeah, the whole entire complexion of the match changes, especially with the zoner if you're playing with the lead. If you're playing from ahead, it's a whole lot different. Oh, he had the read. He right. knew he was going to roll, but on him to find it. Oh, he caught it. He caught it with the recovery at the same time. I didn't know he could do that, actually. Ah, but that bear's so good. Unable to find it. That bear catches him one more time. Soul X getting the reads on right now. He actually beat out the back air with his own, and that downer going to do massive damage. 67% is looking horrible. 79 Oh god, Nitro it needs to find some way to and, get it. Uh, the first panic option we're seeing in the match from Nitro. Not enough special, kind of a rogue one. Oh. And you got a turn up combo from, you know, turn up the forward air, the Paisy Classic, and here we go. Mm -hmm. He's out. Uh, yeah, he's threatening to take this game and uh, making a set of it. Who would have thought after game one, right? I know, it's just a switch momentum, but as soon as you say that, there we go, takes the stock, but Nitro, he can run away with this. Right. We've seen what he can do. We've seen him, if he puts the pressure on and hits his, uh, keeps the wall up, oh. he's in good shape. Forward air being nerfed, not helping out with yeah. Slowlex right there. <laughs> yeah, it's not going to help him out right there, but he's able to get a wild great uh -oh, trouble. Yeah, I thought the Nair was going to be a, put Nitro in business, but Solox fortunate to get away. Resetting back to neutral, and let's see if he's able to open up one more time. Oh, there we go. There we go, got him off stage. Yeah, that platform's coming into play though. Right. This can actually be really bad, but great spot dodge. Is the fourth row gonna be enough? What is the edge guard attempt? He does He's, carry he, it out. he plays it past and decides to wait for the uh, the ledge trap game. Doesn't get much out of it though. Oh, bad oh. bomber. But he gets another one. Yeah. Oh my god, finally it, gets it, it in. But yeah, if at first you don't succeed, just hit it again and hope for the can, best. You can already <laughs> see the frustration coming in. Mm -hmm. You can see it like on his face. Oh, he's gonna take it quick. I got some rule set questions. I wonder if they're talking about. Uh, uh, can we uh, can we remove Belmont from the game, please? <laughs> yeah, you got to do a 4.1 <laughs> patch. Or you could, I, I wonder if they're talking about DSR. Maybe uh, maybe maybe next. Like, ah, I want to go back and let me uh, fix this. Because <laughs> last time I had, there was no DSR. Right. So. Let's see. We're gonna go on that counter pick. Nitro think, thinking. Uh, I don't think Nitro wants to go back on that Kalos. Picking a small stage, going to Smashville. Interesting. I mean, it could work out. Like, yeah. he's able to get these confirms, and he's able to essentially choke out Solux easier. Right. Plus, the platform presence, maybe, that he's, you know, kind of thinking. He's like, for Pokemon Stadium 2, that big plat, the, the two platforms helping him out. Yeah. As opposed to the Kalos. They had the platforms on the edge, but in the neutral zone, it's very open ended. So. He's going to be able to use that middle platform in order to extend these more combos, right? I see those right. little, like, crawl coming in right now. Oh, he had a shield missing, though. That's massive, but he's actually right. able to shield it out. Able to just retreat, you know, very, doesn't try to do too much with it. Sometimes that's uh, one of the lessons you teach the new players immediately, right? If you're in disadvantage, don't need to press your advantage, just go ahead and roll out and you can be battling right back and in the lead. Just reset the neutral, that's all you need to do sometimes. They actually able to get away Soul X, great air dodge, but rolls right into that grab. And Belmont's grabs are deceptively good. Yeah. Oh well, yeah, well, I mean, part of it is you're just having to put your shield up to block all these projectiles. And you're like, oh, I got grabbed, man. <laughs> and then down the leads into a fair and lower percent. But actually was able to beat out the tilt with that turn up. So that's really good for Solix, but interrupts that down air with his up air. This is really good for him. Holding it even, making a set of it. You know, this is definitely going to be an upset in Solix's favor. He's able to make, a, make something of it. Good down tilt, covering, you know, that low pro profile, avoiding the forward air from Paisley. But the up smash whip that's actually really big, Nitro. He needs to be really careful with these moves. He needs to be super careful at work. He throws these out, but the back air, you dropped your shield a little too early there, Chilp. Soul X. And uh -oh. actually going to do the air Buffered dodge. Buffered air dodge, going to survive. Yeah. yeah, he's going to do it. He gets the roll read again, but he's yeah. just misspacing them barely. I keep an eye on that. I think a player of Nitro's caliber will be farming for that late stock. So don't, uh, you know, commentators curse or not. Let's just keep an eye out for that exchange later on. Yeah, he's doing these sliding F tilts. Uh, it's really good for him because F tilt is really good. Like on the Belmonts. Yeah, the range. He's getting the dot again, but this time Nitro says, okay. You if you're going to play, dot. yeah, I'll, you, you get the turn up, I'll take the stock. And Fair trade. It. I like that he shifted over to use the backer in order to force Soul X into disadvantage. That's really good for him. It's these small micro decisions that can change the entire game. Right. And even on the micro decisions on the ledge trap game, it seems like Nitro is being a little less confident 
and let Solux get away with a standard getup that we were saying you know he can't really do. Uh, but great action there, and usually he likes to go for the Holy Fire cross into up smash. Right. We saw he was he was too unconfident with it, and he went for up tilt instead. It did miss, so thankfully he did for it. So he's got a little less head lag. But Solux, hundred percent, hundred and six. This is the problem when Nitro runs away with stocks. This is where it gets bad. I think the moment is starting to get to Solux a little bit. You see a lot of. Early uncharacteristic, especially in the last game options, he's air dodging in, trying to just desperately break through the wall. Instead of binding his time, controlling pacing like he was in the second game and picking his moments to strike with uh, full force. And he's really forcing out the options. Nitro doing a really good job. That's going to finally kill him, but 132%. Yeah, he's got his work cut out for him. Maybe he's hoping to get like one of those early, you know, daisy combos. Uh, oh, but no, nothing doing enough tilt, yeah. taking the stock. Was the tipper F tilt just enough to kill him? And Soul X in a really bad situation. Great sliding F tilt. I keep saying it because that's exactly what Nitro needs to do to win this game. Right. Nitro doing his best to make sure that there are no Cinderella's. Uh, Daisy might be in the ball gown, but it don't matter. You gotta, your invitation is gonna be a little harder to come by if you're. You don't belong in this world, <laughs> right. monster. Um, as always, new, and here comes the cross into the ass. Actually, catches out the jump really well done by him, and he. Uh, oh my God! I was gonna say the up air finally catches out. This is really bad. There he's so got his down tilt. He's opening him up. Oh, the down. down air. He tried to go for the second one. Nitro. Leave him alone, and then, oh my god. He thought he was going to go for another down air. That's why he wasn't right. a down air, but on him find it, and here comes the up air. Yeah, nowhere to go, and Solux a little bit of trouble looking for an up air. Yeah, these falling up airs are going to be tough to beat. This time he's Yeah, he, he, he's too scouted it out. He's feeling it. It might just be Nitro just doesn't really have in his repertoire the correct option for that try down smash. Uh, but 165. <laughs> This well, looks about go. over. Yeah, this is, you know. We were talking about that too little too late. There's the fourth match. The clock strikes midnight. No upset city. Yeah, and Soul X immediately getting up. That's a really close game. Yeah, right. And again, heartbreaking. It's one thing to lose a, a matchup. And it's one thing to lose against. It, it gets